the sea. Is it not true, though, that Africans, um, in their uh, mathematical uh, endeavors, concluded that the world was round and that there was land beyond the horizon they and that it was not an accident that they came to this hemisphere. They concluded that the world was round. Just as much, much later, Columbus concluded that the world was round. But knowing that so the world is wrong... So does that imply wrong, then that... No, it does not. No? It does not. Knowing that the world is wrong does not imply a land mass here. That is the reason why Columbus, when he landed here, thought he was in Asia. Because you would not know where the land mass is. This could have been Asia. That's why, in fact, it was called India. It wasn't called America. But uh, uh, just to pin you a little bit uh, down to this, was the African lost at sea, the African mariner lost at sea initially, and initially. was blown across the Atlantic? Yes. Or did he, he or she set out deliberately? No, he did not set out deliberately in this voyage. There are voyages in which the Africans set out deliberately to come to America. We know of two such voyages. We know, for example, in the case of the Mandung Mandingo in 1310 and 1311, where the Africans were convinced there was a landmass in the south and set out deliberately. A whole fleet was fitted out for that. And when that fleet did not return, one of their kings, Abu Bakr II, actually set out as a commander of the fleet and uh, moved mm -hmm. into this area. We also have evidence in the late pre-Columbian, that is around 1450, A.D., we have evidence where Africans not only deliberately came, but came back. And we have African things found in America, as well as American things found in Africa as evidence of a trading going on in that time. What was the nature?